Dr. Winters. Is Chutzpah a Jewish name? Uh, I didn't look it up. I did not look it up. But all you need to do is, let's see. Keep that thing up there. Don't take it down. It probably could be a Jewish name. Hold on. Let's see what Chutzpah is. Hold on. It's German, but it doesn't say it's Jewish. Uh, the word Holtz is the German word for wood or forest. Well, and he, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. The only good German name is Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, the black nigger. That's that's the name that we all know. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, by the way, um, Haltzclaw means wood thief. So I guess he would be uh, a crotch thief or a wool thief. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 now, 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 you, now, the brother that brother or sister that just put this question up, I um, I'm gonna just put it up. I, this is a tough question when I whenever somebody asks this question to these two, it's always tough for me to put up because they speak about this a lot. Aside from Doctor Winter's book, what are some hmm. good books on black people we should know about? God. <laughs> Everybody, everybody should, uh, everybody should read, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, Fanon books. Everybody should read Fanon books. You know, black, 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 black skin, black, whatever, white mask, whatever. It's a French Fanon. Well, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, one book I would recommend. This, there's some real easy ones. Uh, the Betrayal of a Negro by Rayford Logan is a good yeah, book. That's a good one. That's a good Black one. Bourgeoisie is a good book. Um, there, there is uh, let me see. I, I may have just said it. Carter G. Woodson's book, The Miseducation of the Negro, is an excellent book. Um, all of Amos huh. Wilson's books. She Amos Wilson's them. books are good. Uh, the book, what's this guy's name? That was at Ebony. Lerone Bennett Jr. has a series of books. Uh, Gerald Horn. Gerald Horn, the author. He's got lots of really good books. Lots. Lots of good books. Gerald Horn. He has probably uh, as many books as Dr. Winters. And uh, a lot um, of his stuff in his books include International Affairs, uh, so uh, it, it, events here, uh, Black history. He, he mm -hmm. doesn't limit himself to just to just Black history. He's a he's a uh, he's a very good uh, author, and he uh, he deals with international affairs, and that's kind of strange because see, most brothers I know that uh, I I've written on international affairs, but most uh, most Black people, most uh, Black people when they're historians or anthropologists, they they mainly only talk about uh, you know uh, the Black community. But uh, Gerald Horn, he's written a lot of beautiful books. And his the book Gerald, Horn, Gerald Horn is what is about yeah. my favorite these days. And um, there, what would make more sense because the person that asked that, with all due respect, it's almost like um, you don't mean to be, but it's like a stupid ass question. And and although it's a serious question, it's like saying, asking. Um, and keep this crude. Um, where's a good place to find pussy? I mean, that's like everywhere. I mean, it's, I mean so there's so many answers to that. What would make what would make more sense is because uh, and I I try not to answer 
a question like that, not to be uh, rude or nasty, but um, what mm -hmm. I might recommend may not be anything that you need. So you should refine the question and say, okay, I'm interested in what? Biographies or I'm interested in labor history. Or I'm interested in social history. I'm interested in black leadership. I'm interested in political economy to, to because it's so vast until, uh, you know, you don't want to like not give you uh, a reasonable answer because uh, that's, that would be like asking which, which, uh, which R and B songs do you, would you recommend? And then you start saying, ah, <laughs> and, and it one could end up giving you a whole bunch of things that would have have no interest or no appeal to you. So you should refine your question for a subsequent conversation that we can have about black literature. Yeah. So I mean, f so if you want to ask something about, say, slave black religion, okay then it'd be Rabito, or you would have, what's this fool's name? Yeah, uh, 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 James Cone. Okay. Speaking of Cone, I was thinking of you, uh, Brother Q. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Haki Matabu, not Haki Matabuti, but um, they're, they're various the people. Guy, the other guy, the, uh, the uh, one that talked about the revolutionary Christianity. Uh, uh, you're he, talking about uh, Klieg? Yeah. Yeah, he, he wrote some good books, but I think a good question is what books maybe informed us? I think that would be a better question. What books yes, really right. me who I am? For example, if, I, if you were going to ask that, I would, I would have to put the key book would be uh, The Man Who Cried I Am. The Man Who mm. Cried I Am, what I liked about that book is that it talked about the fact that there was a conspiracy to kill black people. And more importantly, is it talked about the fact that he, he said, he said, why do the Chinese, why do the Chinese have the same name as Gambians? Why do the why do the Chinese wear the same hats that uh that Africans wear? And you know, uh, if I could only go to the archives in Yemen, what I would know. That's what sent me on my uh, quest to really learn about our ancient history. And then I used to read a lot of books on like like uh, uh Dr. Short said, the black middle class, you know, I, I, and uh and uh Jay Rogers books. Carter G. Woodson books, uh, especially in the sense of the education of the Negro, all these things is that I, I think that 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 we really need a baseline. You know, we don't have a. I think today I was thinking when I was uh, when I was teaching at university, you know, I hate the fact in the sense that all my students were mainly white because I taught at the white universities, all my students were white. But the point is this: is that it was a lot of books that I that I wished that I would have had a predominantly black student body so I could really. Teach them. That's what I do in my class. I teach a uh, I teach a class. It's a 15 week course, and I teach it. Uh, I got one beginning August 7th, where I teach people how to do research into uh, various aspects of anthropology, linguistics, psychology, history, and uh, genetics. And and I and I, I I teach my students how to interpret the literature, how to write 